Hello there, and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Mark Chimes, and this here is Janelle. We will be explaining in basic terms why cows have four stomachs and how they work. There are many animals that have four stomachs. Cows, sheep, goats, antelope, buck, camels, yaks, llamas, alpacas are all examples of ruminants. But today we will be focusing on the cow. All the animals that have four stomachs and chew cud are known as ruminants and their way of digesting is quite unique. This is because they cannot actually digest grass. Instead, they use microorganisms such as bacteria, yeasts, fungi and viruses to digest the lignin and fibers in the grass on their behalf. These microorganisms ferment the grass and use the breakdown products as building blocks to produce proteins, fats and starches that are used in their cell walls to produce even more microorganisms. A cow can produce up to 6 kilograms of microorganisms in a day. The cow in turn digests the microorganisms to get its supply of proteins, fats and starches. Here we have a 3D model of a cow. Inside is the ruminant stomach. It consists of four parts. The rumen, the reticulum, the omasum and the abomasum. The digestion process works as follows. First, the cow chews and swallows the grass, which ends up in the largest of the four stomachs, called the rumen. Here, contractions of the rumen will mix the grass with the microorganisms to ensure that they can get to all the parts of the grass. The grass is digested through a process of fermentation which releases a lot of gas. The volatile fatty acid parts of the gas is absorbed through the rumen wall and used by the cow. The rest of the gas, which consists mainly of methane, is removed by the cow through burping. A nicer word for burping is eructation. The party digested contents of the rumen then moves into the second stomach, known as the net stomach, called the reticulum. So called because the inner lining of the reticulum is folded into a reticulated pattern that resembles a net. These folds filter out the finer food particles and moves it to the third stomach. The remaining coarse material is squeezed into a ball called a cud and is brought back up to the mouth through the esophagus by a process of reverse peristalsis, almost similar to a wet burp. The cow will chew the cud to break the coarse material down even further and then swallow it and the whole process will repeat. This whole process is known as rumination and that is why they are called ruminants. As mentioned, the finer material moves from the reticulum to the third stomach, known as the omasum. The inner lining of the omasum is folded into large flat folds that resembles leaves. Hence, it is also called the leaven stomach. These flat folds grinds the food into finer particles while at the same time reabsorbing water and drying out the contents. The dry contents then move to the fourth stomach called the abomasum. This is the true stomach and is very similar to our human stomach in shape and function. This stomach secretes stomach acid that kills the microorganisms before they are digested in the intestines and broken into proteins, starches and fats that are absorbed to be used by the cow for energy, growth, reproduction and milk production. Therefore, when you feed a cow, it is important to remember that you are not feeding the cow, but the microorganisms inside the cow. Hey there, I'm Janelle Chimes, the animator of this video. I would also like to thank these people over here for the research part. They were my main references. I'd also like to give special thanks to my dad for helping out with the research and for explaining all of this to me in simpler terms and for being the voice of this video. If you'd like a more in-depth look at the cow stomach, then click on this video here, where we explain the digestion in scientific terms. Thanks for watching!